Finally, the things I think you need as a single mother of choice with the first baby. These are necessities. First, the baby needs a place to sleep. Even if you have a crib for a nursery, I suggest a plaque and play for your room so the baby will be accessible. I like the one with the changing table. It just made it easier to change the baby at night or any other time, not to leave the room. If you buy the pack and play, you have to get the pack and play sheets. And my friend got me the velour um, sheets, which I really like. They were soft and cushy. Next, you're going to need a car seat and stroller. Some people bought them separately. I bought the three-in-one, which I was very happy with. It was actually a gift from my aunt. If you end up buying them separately, I would suggest you get this Snap and Go, which works with most um, infant car seats, and it's also easy to put in a trunk just in case you don't have that much space. I really like this option. It was a car seat canopy, which helped um, because we went out a lot by ourselves early. Because I'm a single mother by choice, I needed to go to the store and stuff. This protected the baby from the rest of the world. Then, for just in case, I would definitely buy a thermometer. You know, you feel the baby, but if you're new with this baby stuff, you don't know if the baby's hot or cold or um, if you need to bring them to the hospital. Then I was not big on the cast iron pot to um, sterilize bottles, so I got the microwave bottle sterilizer, which I love, and it makes it very easy. You will also be needing a whole lot of receiving blankets to wrap the baby. I would also take time to get on YouTube to learn how to swaddle. It wasn't that difficult once I did the YouTube tutorial. And it does make um, very small infants sleep a whole lot better. Your next thing is bottles. I liked Event, even though I had a whole bunch of Dr. Browns. Dr. Browns just was not my favorite. But pick a bottle type in. Get enough to last you for a couple of days with formula if you're using formula. If you're new to Babyland, I suggest you get the diapers that tell you when they pee because I really didn't know when my child peed because I was new to this whole concept. Pampers has a brand that the yellow line turns green. It was very helpful. I used Pampers in the beginning, but once I became an old hand, I went to Huggies just because they were cheaper and I've had no problem with them. Being a new mom, when I gave her a bath, I was so nervous about the temperature. I got the temperature ducky, which blinks red if it's too hot, green if it's too cold, and doesn't blink at all if it's perfect. And we have been good ever since. Even if you're a breastfeeding mommy, I would bring a canister of formula home just in case you have trouble breastfeeding. I didn't breastfeed at all, but just in case you have something in the middle of the night if you need to feed your baby in an emergency because your breast milk's not coming in or you're having trouble with the whole breastfeeding process. Something for the baby to sleep in. They sleep a lot. That's mostly what they do, and you want them to be comfortable and warm. Also, do not forget that you need a diaper bag, and I would get a big one because when you're a new mother, you tend to bring everything in the kitchen sink. I ended up having to upgrade with a bigger version. Some people really don't think the diaper genie is necessary. I love this thing because I tended to change diapers in my bedroom, and this helped with the smell. Your child will also need a whole bunch of onesies, and I suggest you invest in many of them. They will definitely be useful. Also get the long sleeve one if you're in the cold area. Um, receiving blankets, or um, I guess I use cloth diapers, or what burping cloths are necessary for wipe ups, or anything that spills on the baby milk or whatever you will surely have in a lot of them and wash them a lot the baby's hands and feet were cold so socks works in both ways i feel mittens did not stay on her hands i did a review on the little remedy survival kit and you can look into that i think it was worth buying just to have on hand just in case 
I did buy the Mommy's Bliss Gripe Water because you don't have to refrigerate it, whereas the Little Remedies one you do. So the Mommy's Bliss Gripe Water was a better choice for me. This child was congested, so I used the saline drops, but this was a better option because it sprayed up her nose opposed to having to put drops down it. It just made it easier to use. I use spring water for my formula. They also have nursery water. I just suggest you have it in the house. Even if you're a breastfeeding mommy, just in case, because not everybody's successful at breastfeeding, not to say you won't be, but just to have so your baby doesn't starve and you're looking to find something to feed them in the middle of the night. I'm sure there are many more things, but these are all the ones I could think of at the moment. Uh, if you have any questions about my choices, I didn't put them in any particular order. I really feel they are all needed, and I hope this was helpful. Bye, YouTube.